All right, hey everybody, this is Michael from Crane Painting in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. Um, I reached out to Apollo because we already use one of their sprayers, uh, and we love it. It's actually saved our butt on a couple of jobs when our AccuSpray gun went down that we can't get anymore. So uh, we've been using this for about a year, and it's a fantastic gun. Um, this is the 7500 that we use, um, and we have it hooked up to the 3M PPS system uh, just because that's how we normally spray. It gets pretty heavy sometimes. Uh, but we reached out to Apollo, to John over there, and um, he sent us a entire HVLP setup. Um, we're just going to do a couple of unboxing videos. I'm definitely going to be shooting video uh, here showing how it works. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and take this apart right now and show you what they sent over. Um, the first thing that we got is the A5 21-T, which is a very technical name for the uh, the cup for the underside of the 7700 gun that we received with this as well. Um, this hooks right onto the gun itself. The nice thing about this is you can pop it open. Uh, we will probably use this for a few jobs. Uh, we do like the PPS system though because disposable liners and spray whatever way you want uh, but with the remote pot setup that they sent really doesn't matter so we have the material hose which goes with the uh, two quart pot system now this material hose this is pretty heavy duty rubber this is very commercial uh, this is three eighths they have a quarter inch line also for spraying thinner fluids uh, but we wanted the max on you know, you, you can spray wall paints with as powerful as this turbine is. Um, probably won't do in that, but at least some trim paints we're going to spray out of it and see how that works. We've been doing a lot of shiplap lately, so um, very cool. We've got our material line. We've got the bottom of our uh, the cup for our gun. Now let's get over here. Woo! So right here we have the A4200 and this is the two quart remote pot setup. We've got the little handle here. Um, and the nice thing with the turbine that they sent us, uh, one, you can take this, you can move it. Uh, but this does have a little feature where it sits nicely right on the top of the turbine unit if you want, next to the compressor, uh, where it plugs in for the, uh, the airline coming in. Very nice. got our air line, we've got our fluid line, pressure adjustment, gauge right there. Look at that. We will not have to fill up a million times. Pretty awesome. Da da da. Atomizer. We already have one of these. I really like the carrying case because it's super heavy duty. I've dropped my other one like five times because I do it a lot. Anyways, um, this is the 7700 Atomizer gun. And we are going to open it up. This is the 7700 Atomizer. It says overspray control um, if it's needed. This right here is your fluid setting. Uh, the really awesome feature, which um, is the same as on my 7500 gun, is your fan pattern is adjusted by this little ring right here. So open or close. You just move that right there. It's very nice. Um, this comes with the B cap on here. I'm not sure which setup is in here. So we have a 1.0 fluid needle and nozzle here. Um, that's awesome. So that this is literally completely decked out. Um, so we have here in the case the A cap, which is for um, thin fluids, clears, uh, dye stains, things like that. We have the regular B cap, which we, we primarily use with the 1.0 and the 1.3 um, fluid needle and tip. 
Um, we spray a lot of bin with this. Um, also, you know, thin general finishes, uh, Enduro, uh, ML Campbell Aguilente, the Waterborne Precat or, you know, Waterborne Lacquers, single component, really nice. They have hooked us up with a high solids B cap, which will allow us to spray higher uh, solid product. And then we have the high solid C cap as well. And when I talked to John, I was like, you know, we primarily spray single component uh, polys. We'd really like to spray the 2K polys. Um, and eventually the end game is going to be to be able to spray fine paints of Europe. And that's why he sent us these larger orifice uh, caps and fluid needles. Amazing. That goes on the side of the gun. Um, really cool thing here. Everything that you need to fix or adjust or take apart on this gun, you can do with this little wrench. Um, it's got everything we need. We've got the gun oil, which is very important to lubricate. Um, the little flange that's right in here that allows the needle to move forward when you pull the trigger. All right. Ah. So, next, we have the turbine hose. Uh, we've got a quick connect there that will go into the turbine unit itself, and then this will go right onto the end of the gun. I've got one set up here. This is just my old one. I haven't cleaned it off yet. Um, it clips on just like that. It's very nice. This is very long, too. I don't know if this is 25 or 30 foot, but... Woo! This is really cool. You ready? I'm pretty excited about this. Get a shot. Look at this. So here it is. So this is the compressor hose. We've got the compressor right here that's built right onto it. Um, sometimes it will come and you'll have to assemble it like this. I think they did this for me at the factory, which was really cool of them. Um, here's our power cord. So let's pull this beast out. Woo! Look at that. That's green for the money and gold for the honeys. That's staying in. <laughs> so, we've got our... Uh, this is where we clip our, this is where the hot air comes out, where the compressed air, right there. Um, this is a super cool feature, and it's like, oh, this is super simple, right? But how many times have I dropped my gun trying to set it down on something? Boom. That's pretty cool, huh? It's not going anywhere. I've actually had to reorder this part because I've dropped this gun so many times from a higher surface or knocked it over. And I bent this, so I had to get a new one. Um, so this is really cool. It's a simple feature, but it's nice to have a little gun holder on it. And that's just a quick connect. Just go like this. And we're good. Cool. So, on top, we've got, let's get this out of here. This is where our two quart remote pot's gonna go. Gonna go ahead and go right there for the compressor. Compressor plugs in. On top here, you've got a switch to turn this on. Um, so we need to plug that in as well. Uh, wow. So, one thing that stands out to me is one, the durability and the feel of this. Um, we have all these louvers here on both sides, and that's just going to add to extended life of the machine. Um, I know they have at least a two-year warranty. I can't remember exactly. Um, the other feature that I really like, we have an hour meter. This is digital. It's got an hour meter on it. It'll tell you when you need to change your filter. 
you can adjust your settings right here. Um, it's got two filters on it. It's got an automotive grade filter on the front and on the back as well. We got these packing peanuts we got to get off of it. But that just adds to the, the lifespan of this. Oh. This is sweet. Should we fire it up? Fire it well, we're going to have to play around with the remote pot setup, but let's go ahead and fire it up uh, regularly here without the remote on it. So we just take it. Did you look? Is this the color that it is on the website? Yeah. Is it? Dude, Wisconsin colors. It's not just... <laughs> Like we're sending it to the Wisconsin guys, so. <laughs> <laughs> Are we still recording? Yeah. This is wonderful Wisconsin colors. <laughs> Green and gold. This is yellow, but whatever. That's all right. That's close enough. So we got it plugged in. We've got our adjustments down. Zero hour, 9 a.m. <laughs> know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna be high as a kite by then. Okay. So, we've got this set up. Now, uh, another feature. Look at that. Right there. That doesn't happen. This is happening. This is made right in California. Alright, so... Woo! So we have a, a min, a max, an hour meter. We're at zero hours right now. I'm a little irritated. We if like if we could just make a little eleven sticker and put it over the max, I think that would be great. Well, all the way to eleven. All the way to eleven. Um. Yeah, that's what we got. We're gonna start spraying here. We're gonna try this out today. Cool. So my initial impression of uh, the Precision 5 uh, turbine with the 7700 gun is awesome. Uh, we got to spray this on, uh, we got to spray some doors with this. It is performing really well. Uh, we've got a, a fantastic finish that we're able to dial in more than we would normally. Um, so very pleased with the product so far. Um, we're going to be uh, making some more videos. We're going to be putting this thing uh, through the paces or its paces. And uh, trying out different products, uh, different ways of setting it up. We'll be putting together the two-quart remote pot um, and, and seeing how that affects our, uh, you know, how many times we have to stop and go and, you know, uh, wrist wear, things like that. So looking forward to that, too. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel uh, as we will definitely be putting out more videos, uh, general ones, and featuring... Um, really testing out this Apollo.